Good morning. How is everybody today? It is Beltane. It is a beautiful day. Beltane is a, uh, it's May Day. It's the day of flowers. It's the day of um, fertility and spring and early summer. And it's the celebration of life. It's amazing. And, um, used to, when I taught school, this would be the day I took off school. <laughs> I had a day to myself. <laughs> Today's theme, the power of finding beauty and the humblest things makes the home happy and life lovely. You know, I think we forget to find happiness and peace in little things. Our little daily rituals that give us peace and happiness and give us a sense of comfort and belonging in our life. Um, I think we forget those little things that bring us happiness because we're so busy running and being busy and keeping to the time and making sure we don't miss the appointment and making sure we don't miss the deadline and, and all those things. We forget the simple things. We forget the cup of tea on a Saturday morning with our significant other enjoying the sunshine. We forget the quiet as we hold each other in our arms as we fall asleep. We forget the joy of our children smiling and being happy about something new that they've discovered in their life. We forget about how food should nurture us and the taste and flavors that are unique in each meal. We forget these things. We forget the sunshine and the rain and the snow and all of the elements that are the earth in which we live and we forget how that all impacts us. Something simple, something humble like a blanket your grandma made for you. It's a treasure. She spent time and love and care to give that to you and it keeps you safe and warms your body. You don't have to have the 15 new Walmart blankets to add to it. You've got a treasure all by itself. Um, a couple years ago, well, more than a couple years ago, I read a uh, mindfulness book of some kind, and it talked about how a lot of us have the, chi the fancy china and the fancy place settings hidden away somewhere. We're afraid to use them because we're afraid, you know, they were your great grandma's or whatever. Um, but she used them. And why aren't we using them? Those things do nothing hiding in the cabinet. Those small pleasures that we can bring ourselves do nothing hidden away. Um, you know, I got rid of a whole bunch of knickknacks and doodads and things over the years because once I start to accumulate stuff that I'm not using, I start to really question, what am I, why am I not using it? Is it because it's not useful to me? Does it have a place in my life? And will somebody else enjoy it and find pleasure from this more than I did? And I give things away. I give a lot of things away. Because I like to see the joy in someone else's face. And I also need to find a place for that item that it will get use. The simple, humble things that make a life, a home happy, and a life lovely. The little things. Um, I was reading something the other day about how, sorry, um, I was reading something the other day about how Americans buy, I don't know, something like 50 pounds of clothing a year. It was a lot. I, I don't know if that was exactly it, but it was a lot. 
and how much of that goes into our landfills and how much is tossed. And I was looking at my wardrobe and in the last year I've purchased three pairs of exercise pants and two exercise t-shirts and that's it in 2017 that's it <laughs> um, and in 2018 I've bought some fabric to make some more clothes um, and I'll probably have to buy some socks here soon but I don't buy a lot of clothes new or used because I wear the same stuff over and over and over again. I don't feel the need to slave myself to the fashion. And because I've studied history 250 years ago, you made something and you wore it till it fell out or fell apart. The little things, people, I'm trying to get across the little things. Treasure the little things. Give yourself blessings and love by enjoying the little things in life and treasuring what you have and not feeling the need to fill some part of yourself by getting more things and acquiring more stuff. And that's it. That's today's daily devotion. Think about the things you have already and treasure what you have. It will make your life full and lovely and at peace. So disconnect from your computer and your television and your phone today. Take some time outside. It's beautiful. And I will see you tomorrow in prayer. Blessed be.